Ode to an English Rose from an Irish Wolfhound A poem by J.R. Andrew The only thing I will ever love The only creature who could love me An English Rose She is a flower in a sanctuary Before her knowing I am a beast on bended knee Yet she is of such mercy A pure, understanding creature that I supplicate and restrain by her leg, like a beast, to become a man of better nature. Long ago I only knew the gutter. Beautiful gardens did not know me, never could speak and only stutter. She gave me the words of love to utter. That is why birds look at me. Trees turn root and hills salute, looking down deep into the valley below. The sun and moon cannot dispute. Oh, the love, oh, the love that can bring a man to tears, yet console him through his deepest fears. It's so long ago, I can hardly remember when I was beaten, when I howled, growled, and gnawed. She took me in, and I almost bit the hand of an English rose, of a temperament unfamiliar, gentle, kind, and warm. My head lay in her forgiving lap as I shed the hair of a wild Irish dog. Transmutation is a painful thing for animal or man, but I was neither true my fever. Even the black demon ran, while still and silent by English rose, inhaled heaven sent. This darkness is so cold, yet the coals of hell are hot, blind and deaf, in cradles kept. I sob like a child, though I am not, yet I can understand an English soldier's constitution. We are all preserved by what we have, and that is enough. Her heart and hand will make any man tough. This is all a man needs, and it is not a myth. When an Irish dog can be a gentleman, I am living proof of it, and a dog is loyal, and an English rose cannot die. I have knelt before God and that man's marble altar. Neither could save me, one betrayed me, both would slaughter. But my queen had a strength I could never offer. How is it she is so virtuous? Only with angels can I ponder. No man knows of the English rose. Though royal and red, her thorns grow stronger. Like all women, she is no different. Each red petal pulled asunder by thorns protected. Her crown is respected, but dogs like me never wander from blood-red hearts. Never bark, but will bite. O oh, English rose, O oh, English rose, your arms around me are my shield and sword. Who knew a beast could stand on twos before a mirror, yet feel no shame, not shake, nor quiver? The English rose can heal a man, from the darkness she can deliver. Upon my resurrection I saw the sun's reflection glimmer off her cheek. T'was like furnace heat, hot as I heart beat. My heart beats too, the first of beats and breaths I drew. It's begun again since knowing you, as I feel a life that lingered. It died, my death with it, something else born inside. O oh, English rose, what is the gift you have given? My eyes burn with blinding fury. I thought it was the sun once more. No, it is her fiery beauty. On all fours fall, just like a beast, even if I am a man unleashed. Nothing without her. No words came, no deliverance, until she appears. The English rose I hold so dear. Yet to her I am just a pup, for she is strong when I am not. From my knees she guides me up. O oh, English rose, how can it be? I stand before a flower in a sanctuary. Close to your face I can appreciate, pale skin that blushes with such loveliness. Moved to tears by it all, a man cannot fathom and fumbles the meaning. Oh, why do you whisper life's elixir in my ear? Your words make me what I am not, 
and would have been a beast, but now made a man. Tis but a dream, yet beside her I can speak. When a beast can be a gentleman, there is peace. With guard down, statues whisper, birds sing a charming song. Only love can do this to a man. O oh, English rose, I love you more than life itself, yet love more than all else. Heaven sent, O oh, English rose.